very critical game. Why? Police, fire, fire, police. Yep. We got two to two. Okay. The winner is going to be the standing champ. Ooh, the rubber match. Who doesn't love a good rubber match? Yep. All right, so what are the rules for today? Okay. One, one uh, aside, yep. both teams were given the opportunity but rejected the idea of David Price throwing out the ball for him. <laughs> what, what, what? Uh, Why couldn't they do it? Is that what, what, was that a New York thing? Is it really? Is it really New York? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna bring him with me everywhere okay. I go. Everywhere you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Rules. Last year, we had a question arise yeah. about our Polino. Sure. And I'm gonna reiterate what happens here at the beginning of the game, or as we take different turns and the Polino is thrown. Yeah. The Polino is thrown and it must go more than halfway down yes. the court. Indicated by those stakes. Those white posts. Yeah. And it ends up at least a foot in from the side yep. and at least a foot in from the back. Sure, so you don't have them up against the wall and... While the game is underway, however, it can go anywhere. It, it can get struck by another ball and get jammed in the corner or sure. hit into orbit. But on the original throw, foot, 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 halfway. Gotcha. Okay. okay. So the big question is, you still have that fancy tape measure from last year? I do. I do. We're ready I've for got, that. I've got more. So we're, we're accurate. Oh, you got more things. Yeah. So, oh, my goodness. You even got a real scoreboard over right. here. John, just pan over to the real scoreboard. We'll have that turned for the gains. But it looks like you have a real scoreboard. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. We're set for five match, uh, three matches. I three? said this. Uh, the seniors are having two teams sure. in the competition. A senior team against fire. Yeah. A senior team against police. And the winners of those two games play for the championship. We get those fancy medals again? Well, we have a trophy. You weren't. Oh, trophies uh, yes, this year. We have a trophy. Trophies. Yeah. We'll have to look at that. Yeah, it, it's a great looking trophy. Okay. Too, too. Um, I was going to say something else about the playoffs, but I guess I'll, I'll think of it we'll later. Figure it out. Yeah, and you yeah. can always stop by the microphones and talk to us. So, yeah. all right, so we're going to get ready. The first match will be seniors versus oh, fire. I know oh. where I was going. Where you uh, go? I, see, I know a lot, but I can't think of it. Mike. It takes time. That's yeah. why we are at the senior center. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, the first two preliminary games, yep. the winning score is 11 if you're ahead by two. Okay. The, the playoff or the championship is 15, 15. Winning if you're ahead by two. So that's the old, what we would call mercy rule or slaughter yeah, rule? Yeah, something yep. like that. Okay. Something like that. Okay, so we and, get that. And uh, the senior teams are in the straw box over okay. there. Okay. Judy. Has the names that Ju she Judy did. who? Judy who? <laughs> Judy Alessio. Judy Alessio. Okay. Right. You know a, her. A senior center big shot. Yes. Kind of huge. Yeah. Kind of a huge name here at the yes, senior right. center. Okay. <laughs> Unlike <laughs> Hank Alessio, where people say who? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So she can pick pick the uh, senior team yep. to start against Fire. Fire is the challenger. Remember, police fire is the won. Challenger. Last they year. won absolutely. So that's so, why they're going so they, first. They're going first. Okay. All right. So we're going to get ready for that big match. We'll take a little break, and we'll be back with Seniors versus Fire. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkeys see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. All right, we're back, ready for the start, and we found this young fella over here. What's your name? Uh, Roy Stratton. Roy Stratton. <laughs> People at home might know you. People yes. at home might not. Oh, yeah. I know I know you. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's been there plenty of times. Yeah. So, Roy, uh, just a uh, recent birthday. So, how young are yeah. you now? 94. 94. Just yeah. turned 94. That's great. Yeah. So, uh, we're out here today with the uh, Polino, and you're going to drop yeah. the ceremony. Yeah. So, 
What am I going to do? Uh, hey, you got to roll. You got to throw it like, Which like you way? mean it. Throw it that way. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Good job. Okay. Nicely done. Get me out of here. Nicely done. Right, We're going to get him out of here before it falls over the place. All right. Good All right, job, Roy. Yeah. Welcome back for another year of a bocce throwdown. Year number five. Bocce throwdown 2K18, volume number five. 2K, not 20K? 2K? Uh, yeah, 2K. Yeah, 2K. All right. I'm just yeah. seeing with your math major that you were at. Yeah. Two times 10K. There you go. Whatever yeah. works. So anyways, we're back with the bocce. We had our nice introduction. We got the rules. We got the ceremony uh, Polino toss there by Roy Stratton, who just turned uh, 94 this week. And now we're ready. We got the seniors versus fire. Since fire did lose last year, they're going first up against the seniors. Well, you know, the fire department's going to be looking for revenge this year. Absolutely. And, and of course, Chief Lee is loving having that trophy from last year. It sure and he was. wants another one. That's right. And they had all those little medals and everything, a little medal ceremony that was fantastic. So up first, as we uh, step off camera and we watch the action that's underway as the Polino got tossed, over at your near end, we have Ruth DaCosta, who was uh, thrown with the blue. They got to let the red team go. Ooh, a little too and much so mustard. This said for the fire side, we have uh, Dan Smith and uh, Josiah. Oh, uh, Dan Smith and Paul Fitterin. And uh, the fire end for fire is uh, Josiah Campbell and John D. Rivera. For the seniors, close by we have, it looks like uh, Renato Ang Angeloni and Ruth DaCosta. Far side, Mary Wise and Joan Phipps. So um, not much trash talking today, I noticed, Tom. Um, everyone is like in their element and they're just ready to have a good game. Well, not much trash talking yet is the key word Well, here. yet, absolutely. When it comes down to that final, it's all, uh, it's all or nothing. It might get out of hand. I mean, we might need some security over here. Sure. Well, it looks like Blue is putting up a lot of blocks, so the red team will have to either go around or go over because any kind of push that they do and they spark it, there you go. So that's got to be tough. So if, It's a pretty good strategy. Yeah. Fitty's going to have to go around. Maybe he'll throw a little curve on it. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Oh, and he sneaks up right next to it. Eases it for a point, huh? Wow. Oof. There's a Spock. Dan Smith uh, opening up uh, the hole, but not needed. So they're looking for the third point. Obviously, Fire has two already, but they're going to uh, compare their closest one to the closest blue to see if that equals a point. Hank Alessio on the ruler. Chief Slamman helping out. I'm a little worried about Chief Slamman helping out because they could be a little biased on the red team size. So four points for the red team. They're on fire. So... Let's, uh, let's go down and check this out here. So, uh, Dan, so. Yes, sir. Not your first time here? Uh, no, uh, first time playing, last time I watched. Last time yeah. you watched, okay. Uh, four points right off the bat. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's a good start, but uh, you never know what then. They can come back and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, absolutely. So, uh, your teammates down there, yeah. you, get, you can't get any newer than you, and you did. You got two new guys down there. Yeah. Uh, you think they're going to help you out? Um, as long as looks doesn't matter, they might do all right. So okay. all yeah. right, that's good to know. Yeah. And so, Paul, well, first time playing? First time playing. Watched last year? Uh, I've watched the last two years. Last two years. Never was able to come in, or was Chief Slimman just not confident in you? I don't think Chief Slimman was confident in me. Well, because you don't have the right last name for it, obviously, you know? You know, they like the last names that ended Milford, yep. but that's <laughs> a different story. So, uh, four points off the start, how do you feel? feel pretty good, but okay. uh, we got to watch out because I know they're pretty good. All right, so if you beat the seniors, you're going to face the winners. And what do you think about facing the police later? Oh, that would be an easy victory. Easy victory. You heard it first. Easy victory. You hear that? All right. Let's go back to the action here. Oh, 
I understand, Mike, that uh, Vegas has the fire department favored this year. They do. They have them favored in going the whole distance. And I heard the spread on the final game. They, they, they think that they're going to play the police again. And if that happens, the spread is 10. Wow. That's a big spread. And so it's not too late to get your bets in. There might be a few, uh, few uh, pools going in around the local establishments. Might have to take the underdog on this one. Well, oh, it looks like we got a call. And here. those tones usually mean the duty guys have to go do some work, but we'll see what happens. Right Fire in. looking awfully close over there. Yeah. At least one. Yep. Oh, that's an obvious. There it is. Eagle Eye Alessio uh, called that one real quick. So one point for Fire. So five they go up 5 nothing. Wow. And look at the lovely scorekeepers over there. You see that board? Best in the business. Best in the business. Amy Beck's in charge of a lot of things. Scoreboard is the least of her responsibilities, and she's doing a swell job at it. So Federer throws the Polino out, and oh, that's really deep. Ooh, good roll there. How to start it off. That is right in there. I want to say Fitterin might be adopted. I heard he's really Italian. Look at this roll. Oof, just a little bit short. Renato in there looking, uh, looking sharp. He's going to throw his second one. He's got a good angle on it, I think. Sure does. I might actually do a little uh, curve in. Nope, I stopped it. But you know what? That's good for a point later. That red ball is not stuck there. I think they're going to have to spock it. Ruth Costa in there trying to give a little push. Some good mustard on that one. There you go. There's a double hit, but not close enough. Smith is going to throw his first ball here, and he's going to try to get a little closer, try to get inside. Ooh, and he right does. Through. It looks like uh, two points building up here for the red team. Now yeah, oh, that could be trouble. Paul not liking that at all. Neither is the rest of his team. A little outside there. Two points for fire. They're going up seven. Now, uh, as you heard earlier with uh, hammering Hank Alessio with the uh, mercy rules, during the regular games, 11-point lead is a mercy. Ah. And during the final, it will be 15 points. Well, all three teams this year are pretty competitive, so I'll be surprised if we see any mercies. Right. So Campbell uh, tosses out the Plato, goes over to the side, and he's a little too close. Just, just over the midpoint, but too close to the side. So he gets a do-over. Does he get a five-yard penalty? No penalties. However, if he throws it the second time, he does get penalized. And he keeps it in the middle, and he's plenty over half back. Ah. Mike, I know you've been around the uh, Hopkinton Firehouse quite a bit. I'm Just sure uh, I've heard they've been training very hard. For you this. know, I, I've been uh, stopping by the past week, and there was a lot of hose testing going on, um, a lot of pump testing going on, but I did not see a lot of botchy. Uh, we are the, the fire station is on a small plot, and there is no room for a botchy court. However, they could move the trucks out 
but playing on a concrete surface is not ideal. Oh, good roll there. But from what I understand, uh, Paul Finneran downloaded an app on his phone that allows him to practice. So he's been playing the phone app version of Bocce to uh, get some tosses in. Right now, Red has the advantage. Mary Wise with the toss. This is oh yeah, that's roll. sneaking right in there. That's in there. Boom. Blue on the in. Can they get their first point? Campbell, Ooh. oh, Campbell sneaks in. Gives that Polito almost a little kiss there. You go through. Another roll trying to sneak in there a little bit outside. Well, so far we got red with one point. And let's see if uh, oh, D. Rivera gas. can get in close enough, but he can't. So again, fire goes up and the seniors remain scoreless. They are just relentless this year. So, so it looks like Ed Lee uh, helping out the seniors with the uh, picking up the balls. That was awfully nice of him. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice little toss by Fitter, and Fitter and tries to meet it, and yeah, look at that. That's in there for a nice uh, 12, 14 inches. Looks like a good one here. Oh, stopped a bit too soon. Yeah, I see a couple of uh, little divots in there from a couple of lobs that were uh, thrown earlier, and they have affected the uh, tosses. So Ruta Costa throws her two. Renato Angeloni is in, and he's going off to the corner to throw. Oh, nice speed on that. Look at that. Look at that. Bingo. Oh, right in there. Bingo. Rest it right in there. Legendary. I tell you, Smith don't know what to do. Yeah, that was terrible. Smith, Smith choking on that throw. Whoa. Yeah. Paul, you're not supposed to hit the red ones, Paul. Just saying. Oh boy. Oh, Smith might actually oh, do man. something here. Oh, Whoa. look at that. That could be good for almost wow. two points. That just made it hurtful, Paul. Come on, you got this. Let's see if the seniors can get some revenge here. This is the guy you want up if. Yeah, right now, this is the one you want right here. Does he decide to kiss it or does he try to oh, knock him out of it? Look at that. Oh! oh. That could have worked against him. And Hank says, how many? I think we got two. Let's take a look. One for One. fire, so that brings it up to nine. Nothing. I don't think the police are rooting for us. I'm starting to get a little complex. You hearing all this in the audience? Do you, do you I feel like the New England Patriots right now. You know, I, nobody's I rooting tell you, for they, us. They do not want to come back against Whoa. you. Last year they got their pretty little medals. Yeah, little necklaces and they yeah. see that we have a potential chance at a trophy. Ooh. Chief, I understand you had the guys uh, <laughs> training hard for today. You hear that? He's even teasing <laughs> me and my mother here. That's just, I that's know, low. it's terrible. That's low. <laughs> oh, boy. Although I did, I did hear, uh, your mother root for Mary to throw it, so I, I don't know what that means exactly. <laughs> all right, make sure you get all this on video. Right? And we're gonna try it. You gonna uh, toss around or what? You just leave it to the young guys. I'm gonna see. You know, when they need support, that's when I'm there. So right now they're doing okay. And Waiting for the big game. Yeah, that's it. Well, okay. well I don't want to play my hand out quite yet. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll be watching for all you, right, Chief. Thank, thank you. you, Chief. Slamming everyone. He's like Belichick. He won't tell you nothing. 
I know. He's, his press conferences are always like that. It's smart, you know. He doesn't want to uh, give away his strategy. Oh, well, Campbell toss him one, gets the blue a little closer. Oh, the Spock. I believe red is in, but we're going to get a measurement. Oh, yeah, red's got that one. Blue is like 36 and uh, 30 on the red. Mary Wise tossing it in. And she oh. just creeps right in alongside. Red in no more. Campbell going to give it a shot. His last chance to make a point to see if he can keep a oh. shot out. And he's way too long. Too much gas. Joan Phipps, she comes up a little short, but she has one more ball left. So there goes the fire department shutout. Seniors get on the board, 9-1. There it is. You know, sometimes that one point is what leads to the momentum shift. So that's going to leave Ruta Costa to throw out to Polino for the senior side. And she's going deep. She's going real deep. I notice fire has a long... Real uh, hard time with the uh, long toss. Yeah, pretty good banking there. Banked it right off the side. See if uh, Federer can sneak inside. Oh, he likes the lob. I went bowling with him once, and he was terrible. One time he almost hit the ceiling. His bowling is awful. Ruth just almost sneaks in. But not close enough. He's got the angle he likes. Oh, that is in there. Nice oh, little yeah. spin. Oh, it's oh. just a little curve. That could have been a uh, course manicure issue there. Because he was right on target for that Polino. It's like there's a little hill out there. Nice job. The grounds look nice and manicured. The uh, Hawker DPW came out uh, this morning, trimmed it all up, made it look very nice for everybody. There it is. Blue's in. Again, today is uh, Thursday the 20th. The game was originally set for the 19th, but with all the rains, the course did not drain too well. So it was a, a um, executive decision to move the game to today, which I think they had the right call. Oh, what a perfect did. day for this. They certainly did. A little windy, but not too bad at all. I noticed the fire team on this side here. Uh, we have a little cowboy action going on by Fitterin trying to take all the glory. Looks like Red's going to get some points, but we'll see. Oh, Will they get that's one or a double two? measurement. That's the question. Slamming not liking the call. He wants it in his direction because he's a competitor from way back. He might throw the challenge flag. Oh, we have a tie. I think they get tossed out. One point. So if I gets one on a tie on the second ball, they uh, both equaled about 27 inches. So that's going to put the uh, fire up 10 to 1. It's only the... 37th tie in bocce history. <laughs> Hopkins and bocce or uh, <laughs> oh, bocce international? World, the World Bocce Federation. World Bocce Federation, yes. Seen on the Ocho. <laughs> Folks at home, you are watching the bocce throwdown. We had our first prelim match with the seniors versus fire. I'm Mike Tarosia along with Tom Nappy and of course, in the afternoon, for the first time, John Ritz, who for many years wanted to be here, 
but something called, um, what was that thing called? Uh, work. Yeah, that's it. Work got in the way. What's that? You know, he doesn't know anymore. Now that he's happily retired, he's able to uh, hang out with us now in the afternoon. Well, he's still making the big bucks. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I uh, just doubled his uh, salary at HCAM. All the volunteers got double, uh, 100% raise. Extra so, slice of pizza. Yeah, that's it. So Red is up right now. And we have Mary Wise with the toss. She's a little short. So uh, Joan Phipps will have to toss her. I think it's a final ball. No, they got two. That's very nice. Mary Wise with the toss. And she sneaks right in there. Campbell, newcomer to the apartment, newcomer to Barchi. He's just happy to be here. Big smile, young young fella. And he's going off the side. A little bit too much of a roll there. Campbell's going to try to squeeze in, but no. Oh, oh, oh look at oh, that. Oh. Nice little sharp curve. That's close. I think that's going to bring Alessio up, but Alessio makes a judgment call. And the seniors get another point. So 10-2. Fire department thought they were going to get an early mercy here, but the seniors do not give up. Seniors are slowly creeping back. got to remember, you know, these seniors, this is their court. You know, you, it's like you don't play uh, uh, bubble hockey with uh, somebody who has the game at their, uh, at their house because, you know, you can't beat them. That's very true. And that Polino was a little too close to the side, less than 12 inches. And Ruth will throw it out for a second time. That's why I'll never play you in bubble hockey again. Oh, and this one here is even shorter. And so I think we're going to do a do-over and... Ruth will try it one more time. Well, it's fire side because they are enforcing the rule. Double fault, like tennis. Fittern has been outstanding placing that ball next to the Polino. But I think he choked a little bit that time. He wasn't ready. Oh, there's a good roll. Ruth with a nice soft toss, but there's a divot right there in front of Oh, she <gasps> makes it over it. I think she's got it here. A little more mustard on that. She's going to squeak oh, yeah. right by. That's in there. And she's in there for a point. Dan oh. Smith trying to go on the side. Too, I don't know if he's trying to push it away or not. Too much muscle there. Oh, there it oh. is, the spark. Fitter and nails it kind of hot. It puts the red close. That's going to bring up Ray. That's the Spock of the Day, brought to you by the Jelly of the Month Club, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> All right. So Ray, uh, Ray sneaks on in there, and Smith will go up. And he was a little soft on that. I think, I think he's getting tired. You know, these young guys here, they don't have the stamina as, as uh, most seniors. The team manager, Chief Slammon, is growing more and more frustrated. Oh, no, I think, I think uh, Smith is going to have to go into his millennial safe space and start crying with a teddy bear. I don't know. Oh, there it is. They might have a couple points here. Yeah, it could be. Could this be. This is close. Look at this. Slam, Slam it likes to get in there. He's he's Mr. Ruler. You know, this is what uh, happens when you go to school for architecture. I'm just watching him to make sure that he doesn't move anything around out there. <laughs> Another one for the blue team. Well, Look I'm going to go down and talk to Ray here. Seniors continuing to climb so, back. So, Ray, we noticed that you're mounting a comeback over here. What's, what's your strategy for this part of the game? I, uh, I think we're going to 21, aren't we? 
You have to now if you keep coming like this. <laughs> you ready to take down these young kids? Wait till no. next year. Next year. I think you guys, you guys aren't out of this yet. Keep on rolling on this. We'll try. We'll try. Oh, look at this roll. This might have enough. Oh, just a little bit just too, a little much. too much. <laughs> this is it right here. I got a feeling about this one, Mike. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. right up there. That's close. That's a good point. The seniors are storming back. Oh boy, oh, too much gas. Too much mustard. Oh, this one a little bit of power there too. There's the Spock, but it's the wrong one and Blue's still in. Look at this, they're just trying to Spock it. There it is. I think Blue's still in, Mike. So as they, as they, uh, Measure that up for points. I'm here with uh, Police Chief Ed Lee, who's watching very closely the senior team and this fire team because uh, he may have to, well, he's definitely facing a, a different senior team, but he may have to face these fire guys. Yeah. What, 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 do you, what do you think so far? I think the uh, seniors had a slow start, but it looks like a comeback. I think the firemen are weak, and we're going to beat them again this year. <laughs> there, right there, the firemen are weak. And the blue team is going to beat them. That is uh, that is good stuff to know, Chief. I appreciate that. Our viewers love that. And uh, at the break, I'll see what Chief Slavin has to say about that. Uh-oh. Mike, as L. Cool J would say, don't call it a comeback. They've been here for years. They've been here for years. I don't know, I see a little uh, choke going on here with the red team. Oh, Ooh, that's a good just one. sneaks right in there. Looks like Ray's going Look for this. a push. Oh, just nope. short. <laughs> well, that's a nice roll. And again, falls it short. There seems to be just a little shelf over there that's slowing that ball down. It's certainly a big divot as well. Ooh, does this one curve? Does it curve? Oh! Nice, Ruth is right in there. Oh, oh, oh. that's close. That, that's a lifesaver for Ruth. And again, they are coming at fire one point at a time. Finn with the big lob. Ooh. This is. He was going for the Spock. Now it's Smith, Smith's last chance to save this. And it's head on, but this is. Seniors get another point. This is getting very it looks like, interesting. Uh, Detective Brennan is giving some advice to the fire team. Detective Brennan is no stranger to Bocce. I don't know if he was giving him uh, advice or he was psyching him out for a senior win. Yeah, he has a career shooting percentage of 92%. Pretty impressive. It's not bad for a detective. <laughs> Campbell with the toss, he's there, but 
A little too a long. A little too much. Yep. That is still close, though. You know, that's a young man's thing. You know, it just gives you a little too much power. Hank still wants judgment. Hank, just give it to the blue, will you? Yeah, he's not going to stretch that far away. I'm lucky he's still able to bend over like that. And here we go. We're going to get another shot of his good side. Oh, oh no, he does have to warn him last year to stop showing his good side to the camera when he's taking the measurements. So it looks like the blue is closer. And De Rivera with the toss, and he gets this one in. And there it is. No measure needed for this one. Mary Wise. Oh, it's a good one. This is oh, a little, maybe a little too much power. A little too much, but that keeps him from getting two points. Oh, oh. Joan. Whoa. <laughs> She's, Mary's got one more toss here. A uh, little ah, too much too spin much. on that. Just a bit outside. So now the fire team has a chance for additional points here. It looks like they're going to take full Four. advantage and, and chuck two. up two. De Rivera. Oh and he boy. squeaks that oh in boy. there for a three. Wow. There it is. Uh, I kind of think that he's playing with them. And so that'll put it to... 13 to 5. And so the game to 11 is over. So, wow. That was pretty uh, pretty impressive. Where's... Uh... Come here, Crossy. So, going to talk to uh, the team manager, Lieutenant Kraus. <laughs> So you let the seniors get a little comeback. Was that strategy or was it the a little new, bit of strategy new guy? For the police. A little, a little bit of strategy, yeah. yeah trying to everybody in the game. Yeah. You hear the trash they're talking about uh, over here? They're talking a lot of trash. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I see they're bringing a few more people in, too. So you're going to make it to the next round. Uh, you got to change it up a little bit or are you going to keep with the same yeah, youngsters? The same, uh, same group is going to play. Wow, that's yeah, a bold, uh, bold yeah, move. Yeah. All right, well, uh, we're going to take a short break and see what the uh, blue team does here, see Maybe if they, they can, can make do. it. Defending the championship. They like those medals from last they year. They do. Yeah. I know. They're I see all excited. The, I, I see that they put it on their dress uniform. They get the little thing. I says, oh, what's that for? Well, that's for Valor. This one's for Bocce. I says, wow, that's amazing. So, all right. So we're going to take a little break, and we're going to be back with the seniors versus the police. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness, and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Well, that was some first match, you know. The seniors did not give up. They were creeping back one point at a time, and then a bam, nice big three-pointer from uh, Fire to put them over the edge, puts them into the playoffs. So now we're getting ready with uh, the police department against the senior team. And for the police, we, we have uh, the near side, we have Chuck Wallace, we have um, uh, Joe Bennett, retired Chuck Wallace, I should say, and uh, Lieutenant Bennett, and uh, Tom and Dottie Blair. Far side, we have Scott Van Ralton and Phil Powers for the police, and we have Donna Kempton and Gloria Nelson. Um, the police were talking a lot of smack about the fire, and because they were such a young team. Now this police team, it's like almost seniors versus seniors. Well, I know uh, Chief Slammon seemed a little bit nervous there when the seniors started creeping back in, because uh, it looked like that they were fully going to get back into that game. I believe they won uh, four straight rolls. So. Four straight rolls, and and they they were coming back. He he was even so nervous he went out there to help Hank Alessio measure. Right. Yeah. 
So I see a little issues with that. Well, match number two is underway, and uh, let, let's let's take a look. Let's see how they uh, look out here. This should be a good one. Seniors came to play this year, Mike. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. And, and again, uh, I think the uh, Blairs here uh, have been here every year. Uh, they play very well together as a team. Um, Tom, uh, if you come down on the senior center on a regular basis, you'll see him constantly here. So Lieutenant Bennett now with the toss, and uh, Tom Blair knocking him out. So he's going to try to sneak in there. And that looks like too much monster, too. There's a good roll there by Mr. Wallace. Oof, just not enough on that one. Looks like the seniors, though, did start off with the point. So how about that? Seniors taking the lead. For those of you just joining us, Fire defeated the seniors in the first match, 13-5, but it was a good comeback by the seniors. And so far in this one, the seniors have a one nothing lead over the police. Yeah, that's nice to see. These seniors are not taking this lightly. They're here to win. They absolutely are. So we have uh, at the other end, Gloria Nelson throwing. So next is our own, very own uh, senior school resource officer, Phil Powers. And he sticks it there. He, Phil is no stranger to Italian sports. He's not afraid of him. He'll lay down and sleep right next to him. <laughs> and there he is. He sneaks in there. And he'll get he'll get the uh Hucker PD up with a point right now. All right, we got Donna shooting right now. Can she get the seniors back on the end? Oof. Okay. Okay. Just not enough there. We're going to send it down to Mike with Chief Slammin. So, Chief, you've got to be kind of happy with the uh, performance of your young members. This is a nice start for the boys, and uh, seeing what the police are up against right now, I'm feeling good. All right, so you think you're going to keep this team for the uh, next game? Uh, I can't think of a reason to change, but again, I'm not going to play all my cards yet until I see just how this goes. Um, so how, tell us really, how nervous were you when you saw the seniors mount to their comeback? Because we noticed, and everybody noticed, you were helping Hank with the measurements. Were you just a little too worried? It worries, and I want courtesy, courtesy to the seniors, allow them their chance to Help participate, and uh, they have a good Help team, you know, yes, they, they have do. a good team, so... We did all right. To close that game out, we did good. So the youngsters did well. Yeah. You're going to like them. They're, they're off of doing pots and pan duty for a while. They're, they uh, tested hose this morning in preparation, and uh, we might give them tomorrow a little leeway if things go well. We'll see. That's good. <laughs> they, they, they might uh, get an extra five minutes at lunch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thanks, right, buddy. Great. Chief, thank you. Yes, sir. Well, Mike, uh, police have taken the three-to-one lead. Yeah, I mean, one, one of the things here, this uh, police team, i never seen a team practice so much as these guys. I was, um, I met, had a meeting with uh, Lieutenant Bennett uh, in February. And when I went out, went to the station to meet with him, he wasn't in his office. And so I had to go down to dispatch, had to find out where Lieutenant Bennett was. And he was in the sally port practicing. He brought in these bocce balls that he bought uh, that he bought like five years ago at Kmart, and he was practicing out there all by himself. Well, it's a very important competition here. And there's still that rumor that they do have that uh, 
bocce court underneath the police station. That is correct. It, although I could not gain access to it, it was locked, and my key fob would not work for that. So Authorized I, personnel only. Authorized personnel only, and uh, they know my relationship with the fireside, and there is no way they're going to let me down to see the underground bocce court. Yeah, I mean, I heard they have some crazy security for it. They got an eye scanner, fingerprint scanner. It's just rumors, though. We don't know. It's rumors. Sure. Yeah, we can't confirm or deny. I won't deny it, but we can't confirm it either. <laughs> so Dottie Blair throws her last, and uh, Chuck Wallace, who uh, next year, next year we hear that uh, Chuck Wallace may actually leave the police team and play for the seniors. Because uh, five years ago, he was eligible to be on the senior team. Well, they're still in contract talks. Yes. There could be a trade going on, chiefly. But we'll have to confer with him if there's going to be a trade. There's, the seniors are certainly heavily trying to recruit him. So, uh, Lieutenant Bennett. Yes. You guys are looking good. You weren't worried about that strong. first lead here? Well, we you know? the ringer, Lieutenant Wallace. You do. The, uh, what is the rumor in the trade scene about trading him to the seniors? That won't happen. That won't happen. It's sure. I, I, I heard that uh, Amy Beck has been in negotiations with Chief Lee. This is what's going on. The, this uh, is on the DAC web. Well, we're out here working. Yeah. This is going on out there, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. And it's like, I mean, it is possible because he's been eligible for the senior team for what, the past 10 years? Well, at least, but, you know, yeah. we don't want to go into okay. down there, you know. <laughs> All right. He, uh, but the only way we'll trade him is if it's to play against fire. We, okay, uh, I can see that. that. We could do that. You, you enhance, can... the, oh, no. enhance the senior team, get get Chuck out there. I think that would be good. Because is it true that he did have his AARP card before anybody? Yeah, he had to get a new one. It, it wore out. <laughs> I, heard he had, I heard he had that card before it was called AARP. <laughs> 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 but founding member but enough about that because this game is going to end and he's going to kick my butt at the break so I am going to try to uh, walk away here Tom will you help me out there's no help in you Mike <laughs> and then he drops the microphone <laughs> Mike drop, Mike drop. Mike there's your walk away Mike drop <laughs> 6 to 1 lead for police here and they are on the in. So no one is confirming the trade rumors, although there was a hint that if the seniors play fire, there could be a trade. It could be and like, it's, a, it's a legal trade because he's plenty old enough. It could be like a Josh McDaniel situation where he's about to go, but then all of a sudden someone calls him up, makes him a last-minute deal. Well, that, you, you can tell that guy works out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh oh. That was a lot better. Could this be trouble? A couple of points? Looks like they got one, I think. Should have or maybe least, two. Maybe two. Seven to six. one. The police, uh, Doing really well there, dampening the spirits of these seniors. That is the smallest seven I've ever seen. That yeah, is. That's how much that the seniors like this blue team, I guess. <laughs> well, you can't get anyone to throw the Polito. They got to fight over it. So it looks like a nice uh, three-quarter court throw for retired Lieutenant Chuck Walls. Ooh, look at that. The legend with another legendary throw. It's supposed to be red. You throw well, the wrong you color. the wrong one. It's the police thing. See, they, they, now, now look, they're all messed up. They can't figure it out. <laughs> It's unsportsmanlike conduct, 15 yards. 
Well, I, I think that could be a penalty point now. All right, so, all right, so they're going to have to change colors. I think that might be a superstitious thing. I know at, if this was cornhole, they would have lost it. If this was cornhole, it would be a whole different story. <laughs> Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, that's so nice. Oh! oh. Sneak. Oh. Tom Blair sneaks right in. Now that... We could get you a rainbow one. Lieutenant Bennett with a good wow. one. Now we know why that the police wanted the red balls. They can't throw blue ones good. <laughs> this is why you were here. I thought you were just doing a routine check. Joe Bennett may have been tampering with the balls. Check Chuck, the air pressure. Yeah, Chuck Wallace was taking the air pressure out of the balls here. <laughs> trying to make things a little easier for his team. How many PSIs are these supposed to be? <laughs> Again, the seniors ringer, Tom Blair. But still not enough. Still uh, Red's, Red's point. This is a close one. I think we're going to see a good Spock right now. You're going to need it. Oh. Can and it take a just turn? Had a back here. No. Just a bit outside. He threw three balls and she only threw one. Oh, so you're thinking that uh, the team is... <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, I think there's some collusion. <laughs> there might be collusion, but if the league gets a little closer, let's uh, protest and we'll play the film back. All right. Okay. So Chief Lee worried about uh, the order here, saying uh, Tom Blair threw a three where Dottie threw only one. So there could be a little protest. Controversy everywhere. Yeah, you know? they might have to take that to the league office. I heard the league... Know? We I heard the league leads. office is closed until December, so I don't know what good that's going to do. Yeah, it's kind of like the NFL when it comes to the Patriots. <laughs> so we got Amy Beck with us here, the interim director of the Senior Center right now. Amy, tell us about today's event. What, why is this so important? Why is this so important? Um, I would say just getting the police and fire, getting to know the seniors. It's a community involvement and just general good fun. Now, this has been in planning for a couple of months. What was the buzz around today, uh, up at, leading up until today's event? Oh, boy. Well, we were uh, definitely thinking the seniors are going to pull their weight. Unfortunately, right now, we're not doing so well. They mounted a nice little comeback on the last we game. did in the last game, and I'm expecting it this time around as well. Sure. What other things have you provided for today's event? Oh, okay. Well, the police and uh, fire both brought some things to the table today. Um, they brought the watermelon and the drinks, and we provided the sandwiches for today as far as a great get-together and, and, again, chance for everyone to mingle and get to know each other a little bit better. We're very pleased with our uh, – very glad that our first responders are able to be here today with us. So bocce isn't the only thing that happens here. No, bocce is not the only thing that happens. We have a ton of exercise classes, everything from yoga to and meditation up to Zumba and tap dancing. We've got a lot of craft classes going on, and we have all sorts of cultural events, too. In October, we have a talk on Grant and Lee, um, and we have um, some uh, Medicare talk and a couple other things that are <laughs> in our newsletter that, of course, so I draw. In the newsletter, <laughs> speaking of the newsletter... Tell, tell everyone about the Hilltop and how cool this is. Okay, well every month we send out a newsletter that lets you know what is happening at the Senior Center. We have a schedule, a daily schedule of our activities. We have, like I said, the exercise classes, any special events coming up, and we also daily have a lunch. Um, it's a $5 lunch for a full meal from 
salad and soup up to a hot meal or sandwiches and dessert. So you get quite a bit. So with that going on, what happens once a month on that first Friday that everyone loves? Oh, yeah. I, that I love, too. I love it. <laughs> the first Friday of every month, we honor um, Hopkinton's veterans. And we have a veterans breakfast at 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, all veterans from Hopkinton are welcome to come. And we have been very fortunate. We get sponsors every month to take care of it. So it's really in the honor of the veterans and a chance for them all to get together and enjoy a chance to talk and, and just enjoy each other. And speaking about that sponsorship, tell people at home how they can sponsor a breakfast because everyone here knows that I've done a couple, I, I enjoy doing it, and I enjoy sitting with the guys, hearing their stories, but tell people how they can get involved by sponsoring. Well, we'd love to have sponsors. Um, we, we have, if, if you're interested in sponsoring a breakfast, which means paying for the breakfast for the seniors, it's $160. Um, and if you want to do it, you can contact me at the Senior Center. It's Amy Beck. And I can, we take the your funds, we put it right towards the breakfast. And everyone can enjoy it right there. Yes. That's fantastic. What is the special part of this breakfast that everyone enjoys? Uh, yes. <laughs> the SOS for all you folks that are old enough to know what that is, but the chip beef on toast. That's right. I haven't tried it myself, but I know they all come for that. It is It is my favorite, and they always look at me, and they ask, do you want it? I'm there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. The reason, reason why I'm here. But So you have that going on. We have all these events. Finding the newsletter. How can people get this newsletter? Well, we do have the newsletter online. If you go to the Senior Center website, you can click on Hilltopper, which is what it's called, or you can call if you're a Hopkinton resident. Um, you should be receiving it. If you're not, let us know. Um, but we do send it to your home, um, but you can pick it up online as well. Fantastic. That is outstanding. All right, so. We see that the police took care of the seniors, 11 or 1 over there. I want the oh, I, there I may have you. to change the number. <laughs> you know, that, I noticed that number's kind of big. It is a little big. It's I'm not big. sure what happened there. It's a little there. big for some reason. <laughs> All right, so it looks like that the uh, police took over and uh, didn't give the seniors much of a chance, no, you know? they didn't, but we made a rally in the first game, so we're sure pretty pleased. So we're going to take a little break and uh, have a little something to eat here, and, and we'll be back here with the final police versus fire at Bocce. Throwdown 2018. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al my gal and we love H Camp. And I want to be a camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Well, Tom, we're back here now for the final. Blue team versus red team. It's the moment everyone's been waiting for. Uh, they've been gnawing at the bit here, and uh, the last game here, the PD just spanked the seniors 11 1, and uh, they just want to get rid of it. So they, they even got to let the food sit here, and they're going to wait. They just want to get in here. They want to beat the fire so badly. Yeah, they want to. They want another trophy. They they want the they want the ship. They, they want they, the they, championship. They need to have the ship. So right now they changed up the teams a little bit, Tom. If we take a look at this end for the police, we have uh, Chief Lee with our new police officer Ben Stickney. Uh, they're they're going to be partnering on side with uh, Paul Fitterin and I think Dan Smith is up here as well. But at the other end, we have our uh, firefighters uh, John D. D. Rivera and Josiah Campbell from the uh, first match. And they're gonna be going up the blue team side. We have Detective Tim Brennan and our new uh, new police officer, Molly McGaffigan. As I'm sure Chief Lee would tell you, this is a moment of truth for the young guys. If you don't succeed out here on the bocce court. You're on uh -oh. midnights. You're on midnights forever. <laughs> That's it. And he's already, uh, already warned them and said, if you can't keep your stuff up, we're going to pull you out, and they got plenty of replaces. Their, their bench goes deep. You know, Joe Bennett's here. Uh, who else is here? Uh, Phil Powers, Chuck Wallace. They got, a, they got a real deep bench here on the police side. I think we're going to have a match here that goes right down to the wire. This is going to be a nice, close matchup. I don't so, know who's uh, going to win. The uh, defending champs are going to let the fire throw the Polito to get started. After uh, two straight years of the fire department taking the championship trophy, of course, last year the police department did, and they, w they want their second year in a row. Absolutely, absolutely. 
This is a tiebreaker. It's two to two right now. Two to two. Chief Lee starts off the day with one that heads into the boards. Looks yeah. strong at first. Yeah, that throw by Chief Lee looked good, but you know, the, the Chief has been, uh, I, I've heard from uh, the lieutenants that he's been taking a lot of vacation time and he's just been taking it easy instead of practicing like the rest of them. So here we go with uh, Ben Stickney's uh, first throw as a Hopkins police officer. Nice little transfer from the uh, small town of Sherbin. Ben Stickney is a hometown boy, and we, we're very glad to have him back. Uh-oh. Early trouble here for the police. Chief Lee struggling. Wow, it seems like Chief is getting haggled by his own department members. Oh, look at that. The new guy comes through. The new guy. The new guy. And Fick can't make it happen. Let's see if Fick can make it happen here. Oh, he's going for a little oh, Steve. The Spock. Oh, bam. Another Spock of the day brought to you by the Jelly of the Month Club, the gift that keeps on giving. It looks like he stuck that in, so that may only keep the cops down to one point. It is pure brutality on that bocce court right now, Mike. These two teams are going at it. That looks like uh, one for the good guys, as I like to say. Fight of power draws first blood. So uh, I got, I got, I got, I got to talk to the new guy over here. <laughs> Ben Stickney, Ben, listen, uh, first time at bocce ever? Uh, not my first time, no, no. My no. grandfather was big into bocce, he had his own court at his house. Oh, yeah? Didn't let the kids touch it, but... Oh. Uh, you could go I've nowhere near it. it. I, he let me look at it once. Oh, yeah. He did. <laughs> that's it. That's it, that's it. So, uh, here you are, you, you joined the for force recently here, and uh, you're getting yourself acclimated, but you, you're no stranger to this town. No, no, my family uh, spent a lot of time in this town, grew up in this town, and uh, so I was fortunate enough to be here, still have a lot of family and friends here, so it's uh, it's been a great transition to, to come back in and see some familiar faces. Outstanding, so what do you think about this event? I mean, this is our fifth, fifth year doing this, and uh, what do you think about this kind of uh, atmosphere. I think it's great. I think it's great that uh, we we're able to come out and you know interact with the seniors and, and see everybody and uh, you know just have a nice, fun, easy day. So, uh, how bad was the uh, trash talk to towards fire leading up to this event? Well, you know, I mean, the fire guys. They, I think they've been practicing in their downtime. You know, I, I've seen them behind the station every once in a while, and uh, you know, it might be a little bit of an unfair advantage, but I think we'll take it today. They, they got downtime? No, no, okay. not the not, not the fire sure. guys. No, no, no. <laughs> ben, thank you. Good luck. Thanks, man. Right, well, a one nothing lead for fire. De Rivera with the toss, he, uh, he brings that in pretty close, but enough to cause the uh, blue team to go. And here's the first throw we're gonna see from Molly McGaffigan. McGaffigan getting some advice here from the sidelines. She don't like the advice. She's reaching for her taser. I think she's going to tase the senior, not liking the advice she's getting. Some good distance on the Polino. Wow, we got some rules. They got so many rules. I can't keep track of all the rules. That's why I have Hank Alessio here. Oh, look at that. The knuckleball. So she was talking about uh, when you hit the other balls. You can hit a ball on the way down, but if it hits the backboard and then comes out and strikes the ball, it's a dead ball. So right there, that's a dead ball if it oh hits the boy. back. That might be the new strategy, get that Polino deep. So there's a little, little issue here of uh, establishing that rule while the game already started where we didn't have that rule in the beginning. So. Oh, not enough distance on that one. 
Detective Brennan with the toss. He's no stranger to Bocce. Oof. He's had these balls thrown at him for years. Right now, fire is on the in, I believe. Yep. Dear Vera, he's changing his angle here. He's trying to squeeze in. But it looks like he's going to hit a blue. Oh, oh he look at that. By. Right through. Look at that. There's another good one, it looks like. Kib Kibble might actually push that closer. Fire might get three here. Yeah, I think they're saying three. Oh, look at three. that. Four nothing. Four nothing. Wow. Chief Slammin already saying shut out. Yeah, he's calling it. I'm not sure. I can't tell from this angle, but that looks like a lot of sweat on Chief Lee's forehead right now. A little too much distance on that one. There's Officer Stickney. There it is, another good one from the newbie. Police still on the end. Spocking his teammates' ball there to try to get it in there. We're going to have a measurement. And it's blue. Police remain on the in. This could change that. And it will. What a roll there. Fire is back on the end, Mike. I tell you, they want to put this away. What is is uh, the senior center went to Olivas to do the catering, and everyone is getting hungry, so they, the fire wants to put this away. The Spock master, Chief Lee, Spock's it right out of there. I tell you, he's been a ringer since day one. He came to this town, and nobody knew his name. Then he shut out the seniors his first year, and bam, everybody knows. Mean Chief Lee. That's right. Oh, uh oh! He just made that a mess out there. That could have caused some trouble. That might have been a backfire. I don't know. That red looks awfully close to me. Oh, that is close. I think it's red. I, from my angle, I think it's red. Oh, it's blue. Wow! Chief Lee puts his team up on the board for the first time. Four to one. So it looks like. Uh, Officer McGaffigan will toss out the Polino. And she's about a three quarter court toss. Let's see if she can point up. Not That's bad. tough after throwing a light ball like that to throw a heavy ball. It's not really easy. Is. Not an easy task. Fire on the end. Hey, Chief Lee, now that you got uh, a point on the board, has that restored your confidence in your team? Oh, absolutely. Shaky start, but these works are here to play. All right. And uh, veteran Tim Brennan. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> All right, best of luck out there. All right, so the confidence well, is restored. It is. He's, it's, it's all there. He's, he thinks this is going to go easy. I don't know. I love Hopkins, uh, Hopkins Fire strategy there by keeping the original members in there because they're loose, they're warm, they're young, they're hungry. That's right. And I also heard some jobs may be on the line. <laughs> Chief Slammin is ruthless when it comes to uh, bocce. So there's a tip if you're ever applying, throw that in your resume if you have any bocce experience. Yeah, police, some more points here. Oh, look at that. They get one more. They, they're inching up, just like the seniors that they are. I mean, that they've played the last game. 
Okay, one point at a time. You wonder how uh, Chief Slammon's feeling right now. I think he's feeling pretty good. Looks like he's having a sandwich with his mother down there. Lovely Carol. She's uh, down there and they're having a little sandwich. He's enjoying himself. So it looks like uh, Stickney will toss out the Polito to get the thing started for him and Lee and Smith and Fitterin. Chief uh, explained it to his new officer how he doesn't like that throw. Let's see if they can make it work. There you go. He doesn't like it, so he sends it further away. <laughs> yeah. Someone's going to be on midnights for a while here, that's for sure. <laughs> it all depends on the scoreboard at the end of the day, yeah. Mike. Unless he, likes, unless he likes midnights, and then I'll put him on days. Well, the thing about days is you get all the lieutenants and the chief around all the time, and you can't hide and do anything. Fire on the end. Red is in. Tell you, these firefighters like the sound of that. Here's the, the ringer. Oh, the Spock. There he is. All muscle right there. He leads the league in Spock. Oh, spocking. look at that. Oh. Wow. He says, you got muscle, I got more. Yeah, maybe a different team, but you got to remember he's still a chief, you know. Oh. This is close. I think Blue might be on the end still. I think so. Oh, Hank clear the field of any debris. Red is still closer. Blue throw. Oh, and he's got to squeak that one right inside. Well, if you weren't sure before, you can be sure now. Chief Lee stepping in. Yeah, that looks like is. two points for the Blue team. There hey, do oh, we see it all tied up? Look at that. The kiss. That looks like, uh, I don't know, it's either two or three. Lieutenant Wallace is yelling three, three, three. And the answer is three, three. points and the police take the lead. Wow, what a oh, change boy. of momentum here. And yeah, look, they're going to let fire change the score because they know how to do math. So they're ready. So... <laughs> so uh, as the ball gets tossed around right now, I have uh, Lieutenant Joe Bennett, uh, Hopkins Police. So uh, here it is. This is the end of September. And uh, October is a pretty special month this year for the police department. Absolutely. This this year we want we partnered with the, the Pink Patch Project and we want to increase awareness about breast cancer and also support the cause. So what we've done is we uh, Brian Sanchione worked on uh, and uh, worked on creating a pink patch. Yeah, hold that up for a little bit. John's got that sucker right there. And what Great. the Hopkins Police Association did was they bought about 300 of them and we're selling them for $10 and all the money is going to be donated to, to support breast cancer awareness. So if you want to stop by the station and pick one up or if you see an officer, um, ask yeah, them for one. With them, yeah. Yeah. And uh, people online, because people see this online, is there a way they can contact Absolutely. you? Absolutely. If you go to our Facebook um, account, uh, we have it posted on there and we're, we're happy to uh, to get them to you and to support the cause. Fantastic. That's that's a great cause. So this is going to be first. Does this uh, sound like it's going to be an annual event? We'd like to. We'll get a lot of support. The patches are going out. Limited numbers left. So okay. so don't hesitate to come on down. And, so uh, as soon as you see this, you may want to go to your computers and get one now. That's right. right. That's the best. Right. Joe, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Mike. We'll see you. Back to you, Tom. Thanks, Mike. So change of momentum here. Police on top five to four, and they're also on the in right now. Yeah, I mean, you do have your uh, your veterans. I mean, you look at this here, and the police does have the advantage with the uh, veterans of Detective Brennan and Chief Lee. You know, all the rest of them, I mean, all fire is all brand new, and their partners, if you notice, they did a good job. They split up the pro and the rookies. So you have rookies, McGaffigan, and Stickney teamed up with the pro, but you have two rookies on either side for the fire. Well, you know, Chief Lee is to botch you what Bill Belichick is to football, just a genius strategist. Yeah, he, he, he gets hands on. He goes right down. He sees what's going on. He, he, he makes the decisions, and, it, and everything counts. Oh, and uh, he plans for the weather conditions, everything. 
Yeah, I, I was. Sandwich breaks. I was talking to him because there was a question whether they were going to cancel yesterday. And uh, they were out there in the rain on Tuesday practice and thinking they might have to play a game in the rain. That was during the subtropical storm. Subtropical, yes. The, the get, uh, remnants get, of Florence. Getting ready for any conditions. So again, the police just pick it away at the fire department. They're up now six to four. Chief Lee out with the Polino. It's a 6-0 run, Mike. I tell you, fire's gotta be getting real nervous right now. I'd be nervous if I was them. Well, Chief Slammon did stop eating a sandwich, so maybe the pressure's starting to set in. I know, I could go for a sandwich. That Olivas looks very good over there. Very I know, I'm hungry. trying not to look at it right now. Because we got a bocce throw down to call. There it is, oh, look at that. Great effort by Federer. Pushing the Polito and giving a two point lead right there on that. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, you want to talk smack? That's a Stickney smack right in your face. A Stickney Spock. Chief Lee is very happy about that assignment. I can, I can see someone getting an extra vacation day. What can Chief Lee do here? Oh, oh. He squeezed it. Chief, oh. Chief Lee oh. loves it up against the boards. He loves playing these boards, and no one plays it better than Chief Lee. That is a misfire. Yeah. That, that's what happens with the youth. They, they shoot a little too early. And there it is again. Oh, just a little too much. I think they got They got two. at least two on that one. They got two, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Do I no. see it? No, only one. One. Wow. Ah. Well, that's, that just tells you how depth perception does not work with taking measurements. But we have uh, Certainly does. got a good little crowd here today. As John's been in the crowd. We got the senior police fire. We have some uh, members of our communications, uh, public safety communications team here as well. Uh, patrolman uh, John Corrigan uh, is here. He stopped by. He's out on the road. Um, Molly McGaffigan uh, was able to take her break, and so she's uh, she's here today supporting her team. Where else would you rather be? I couldn't think of a better place. I've been looking forward to this uh, for a month. It's the greatest sporting event of the year, Mike. I think so. I think so, too. Hands down. McGaffigan, oh, look at the oh, speed that. on that. <laughs> just sends fire out of the way. She just got herself a raise. Ooh, fire, fire sneaks in. right in. Gives them at least a point. That's a lot of pressure under Detective Brennan, and we all know Brennan. <laughs> we all know Brennan can't handle the pressure. Oh boy. So fire after a seven straight run. They finally score they again two. after seven straight for the blue team. I think they might have got two there. Let's see how much closer they get. Yeah, two points, so seven to six. There it is. Yep. Chief Lee was happy with seven straight points, but he knows fire just woke up. We have ourselves a bocce throwdown. Good start there for Great the fire. Throw, Paul. Oh, took a little that, curve. That's, that's strategy right there. Because now he's hoping that Chief Lee just knocks that red one out of sight. Not where he wanted it. Uh-oh. Ooh, this is good. What's this going? Where's that going? Oh boy. Wow, he pushed him over the two points there. Chief Lee getting the job done once again. 
So uh, Hank is trying to find out who yeah, has to throw next. And the only one that can throw is red anyway, so. Oh, boy. Oh, that one's going to be short, I think. Can he go the distance? Dan Smith, uh, <laughs> Dan Smith uh, just recently changed sides to the red team from the blue team. He was uh, one of our New York's finest uh, before coming to Hopkinton and joining the fight department. Hank what? Alessio down there. I see a clap from Molly. That's at least one point. Well, I heard what made him want to come here was he heard about the bocce throwdown. That is very possible. It is international. Detective Brennan, very happy with two points. Nine, six. Back and forth we go. Oh, you know, the seniors are rooting for the fire department right now, which is good, because everyone loves to see it when a fireman shows up at the house. Nobody likes it when a cop shows up at the house. It's never good. <laughs> Timmy Brennan, great with the throw. Timmy Brennan, he does about five hours a day at CrossFit. Oh, he drops it right in there. Ooh, Josiah. that is close. Josiah Campbell just uh, sneaks in and he does get closer, but Molly's right here and Uh-oh, they're getting called in. Police on the end. <laughs> That's the Ashland team going up. Oh! Oh, look at this. That is very nice, uh, very nice toss. It just, just squeaked around. Dear Rivera, uh, I think finally getting the hang of this game. But don't count Brennan uh, uh, out. I think you just put that to the outside to stay safe. Well, the Grab the point. 10 to 6. Well, the thing is with uh, Detective Brennan doing five hours CrossFit a day, he's afraid to throw that thing way too far. Chief, Chief Lee gave him a few words to tell him to pick up his game. So 10-6. Stick the with the Polito toss. Chief Lee did good. I mean, out of all the recruiting that he did for new officers for the department, he went for the Bocce Ringers. And uh, who knew that Sherman had Bocce Ringers? I thought they played things like uh, shuffleboard on cruise ships. Fancy game. Fancy games. He played fancy games over there in Sherbet. <laughs> wow. Oh, there it is. He sent Red that with authority, the but Red is still in there. Chief Lee's going to change that right here. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Try. Let's go over up right next to it. Oh, yeah. He knows. Oh. He knows. There it is. Right next to it, right? Did I not call wow. that? Wow. Oh, oh, snap. Not in my house. <laughs> Fury says, I don't care if you're a chief. You're not beating us. I think Red's got this one. Red is closer. Oh, well, nice and easy. Look at that. There's one point. There's two points. <laughs> Here comes three. three. It's, a, it's back to a game now. Look at oh, that. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Right back in it. Yeah, he's fine. Right back he's in fine. it. He's fine. Look at that. Ten to nine. Wow. Ten to nine. Fire mounted their comeback. And they say close only counts in horseshoes. It counts in bocce. In nuclear war. Yeah, that's true. 
10 to 9. Police have the one point advantage. Yep. But so fire has come storming back. Looks like Campbell will throw out to Polito, get the uh, round started here. Good throw, says Camp Chief Slamming. Campbell De Rivera for fire down there, and we got McGaffigan and Brennan for the blue team. Strap in, folks. This is going to be a crazy finish. Oh, doesn't get any better than that. Little strategy move there by the new guy. Campbell's going to have to throw again. Is he going to do the same thing or is he going to go close? Oh, a little bad spin. I mean, oh, a little oh. too much on that one. So here's a chance for uh, four right. points. No pressure for the new guys. McGaffigan squeezes that short. a little short. Well, we got Brennan. And Brennan. Brennan's biggest problem is his power. He's just so strong. It's not easy for him to throw light. Not strong enough there. No. There's a good one. Oh. See, oh. again, too strong. He's just too strong for this one guy. One for the police. 11 to 9. I don't know how that works. It's just trying to compensate. I mean, he, I mean he th he's used to throwing like 80 pound uh, cowbells there at the uh, CrossFit gym. But yeah, you get tough. this little uh, 10 pound Polino, and, I mean, 10 pound uh, bocce ball, and, uh, you know, just send it too far. Mike, I believe the rule is you got to win by two as well, at least two. You do. You have to win by two. This game here, where it's a, where it's the uh, championship game, is going to 15, and uh, the winner does have to win by two points. <laughs> Chief Lee wants to close out this game right here. Everyone home just tuning in. You are watching Bocce Throwdown 2018. I'm Mike Tarosia and Tom Nappy with me. John Ritz are running the camera. And uh, we do have a 11 to nine lead with the police in the final match. We had an 11-1 victory, police versus seniors. And we had a 13-8 victory, fire versus seniors. And which right brought now, us to this. It looks like fire's on the end. Fire is on the end. Chief Lee has to exhaust his uh, throws now. It's gonna roll it right up the side. Yeah, that's just a little too much busted. He's going for the bank there. Dickney likes to uh, go for the spark, and he is going again. There it is. There he is again. It, it looks like it's the uh, blue team's idea to one point them, one point fire to death here. That should be in. And Smith keeps fire alive. To get one more point, it could be a tie. It looks yep. like fire may have tied this up. Two tied points back up. for the red team. We have a new game here, 11-11. Oh the suspense continues to build in this epic matchup. Eleven. 11. I don't know, Mike. This this might be uh, the greatest match we've seen. I tell you, this is really something. The weather's still holding up here. We're slightly overcast. Nice little breeze coming in. Got a bunch of blankets and uh, coats here for everybody in case they need it, but they're going good. I need, uh, I got retired Lieutenant Wallace over here. I need to speak to him for two seconds. But, um, Lieutenant, I just need to know, what do you think Chief Lee's strategy was by keeping the veterans out of the final match against the, the new guys on the red team? I think his strategy is this, that we need the new blood on the police department to take over for some of the veterans mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. want the new blood to come in and even, assist as well. Even in a final match? Well, that's all right. Even if we lose it, which I know we won't, We'll always come back next year to yep. regain our title, Mike. 
So that means the police can handle the taunting for a full 365 days? We taunt better than we receive taunting, so yes, that'd be okay. <laughs> but we're going to win anyway. You're going to so win anyways. You absolutely. heard it first. Here's the prediction. Yeah. You got a prediction on the final score? Uh, it will be 15 to 14. The police department well, will win. It has to be two points. So 15, 13? 13. 15, we'll take 13. that then. We'll take that. 10-4. Right. Ten, ten Thanks, Chuck. Right, Tom. Blues on the end right now. There's Officer McGaffigan. I'll tell you, Officer McGaffigan, she's one to look out for. She's having herself quite a day in the bocce court. I'll tell you, for the first time, she's coming into this cold, no warm-ups at all. She came in right off the road to, uh, to, to take on the uh, fire in the finals. Chief Lee didn't only get some great police officers, he got some great bocce players. Absolutely. And, you know, sometimes I think that's what he goes for first. I can't confirm that. And what's the difference, right? Mm -hmm. And I see Chief Slavin over there applauding big time. Oh! Hopkins takes the lead. Hopkins finally takes the lead at 11 to 12 to 11. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm speechless right now, Mike. Absolutely speechless. <laughs> Federal with the nice lob. Pox it right next to it. Stickney's Stick getting real nervous here. There it is. But I tell you, he is cool as a cucumber under pressure. Sparks that ball away. Smith comes in, he'll play it off the side. Rolls right in. That might be good for a point. Yes, and Chief Lee's up. You know what Chief Lee's thinking right now. That's it. He's, oh, there it is. Ooh, There's the I pack. He's going for the Spock. There's the pack. That is in there. <laughs> Fittering in now. <laughs> well, I, I did not expect that. The way you dug into that court, it, it curved right. Perfect. Wow. Perfect Spock. Here. Oh. It looks like may it actually might be, be in there. We'll see. Close. What's, that? What's the judgment? We're get a measurement. I don't know. Smith picked up this ball a little too soon. Yeah, it's still, still red. Smith a little premature of that judgment call. Chief Lee trying to bank it. Chief Lee helping out the red team. Chief Lee helping out the red team. They get one more point and it's all over. This could do it. This could be in there. Oh, just a little bit too far outside. The blue team gets to live another day. <laughs> As it looks like two points for the red team, that will bring them to 14, one point away from victory. I'll tell you, that might haunt chiefly for a long time. That's a lot of, lot of pressure for the, uh, for the veteran Brennan and the rookie McGaffigan. They need to... <laughs> That's right, she is worried she's still on probation, so she needs to perform here. I'll tell you, if the fire department wins, though, they might want to get out of here quick before they get some more parking tickets. That's it. Yeah, I'll never forget that year that they put all the parking tickets on all the fire trucks. Oh, Chief Lee's looking a little dehydrated over there. That's his third water in the past five minutes. The pressure's I think, on. I, I think the pressure's finally uh, made it over there to him. Oh! Campbell's ball almost uh, stuck around. For those of you just tuning in, it's fire leading police, 14 to 11. Police won the championship last year. Fire trying to take Campbell it this just year. needs one. Oh, that is right in there. That's in there. Oh, boy. Brennan with the toss, comes up short. Good shot, good shot. <laughs> wow. You got all the choke calls from, from behind us. There's some chanting That's going on. That's how I play. Brennan's hanging his head. Nope. No pressure, new guy. Here we go. That's what they're saying. Oh, and that oh, sails the police. Boy. Mate. 
red team takes it 15 to 11. Fire. The comeback kids, the new guys. The Hopkinson Fire Department. Come out on top. Champions once That's again. Awesome. Oh, hey, come here. So, Unreal. No, no, no. Come here. I know. I know. So, Judy, so we did. Every year. We every year we do this. I know. So, every Judy. Judy. On top of the beautiful sandwiches, I see you have the uh, someone's favorite thing right there. I have a fa your favorite cannolis. Every year, you've been wondering where those cannolis are. And she she makes this plate just for me. I did. Oh, thank you. You, it, you can share it with. I will. I will. The crew will get half a cupcake. So, how? <laughs> what do you think of the uh, final results? Uh, it's it's just so much fun. I really don't care. I, we, have to be honest we were kind of hoping the seniors might win yeah. just to kind of spread it out sure but maybe next year maybe, maybe next, next year, year. It's always your, that's what the police are saying right now too <laughs> maybe next year i think so judy thank you very much you're for welcome. putting on a good event you're welcome. roll call tomorrow morning anyways at the police station i gotta <laughs> just kind of swing by and see what's going on do you, you, you know do you know why god invented police officers <laughs> why because firemen need heroes too oh, oh is that why uh -huh. okay all right. So uh, I noticed that the fire department had a park in actual parking spots yeah. to avoid any tickets yeah. from disgruntled Finish police here. officers. Is that true? Wonderful. Tom, we we finished up here. We got another another uh, bocce throwdown under our belts. What and an unbelievable I, bocce throwdown it was this year. And the Unreal. fire department comes out on top from a really big deficit. Big and comeback. now they lead three games to two. Yeah. Yep, they got the best out of five. It's unreal. That's great. What a comeback. Good job. And they're going to have the trophy presentation coming yep. up as well. So, so we'll have a we'll little. Be sure to uh, get you uh, some footage of that. That's right. So we got to do the trophy right now, trophy presentation. Hey, hey Mike, hold on one second here. Just trying to get a selfie. <laughs> 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 All right. So we're going to gather. Let's do a trophy presentation first. Yeah. And I think the chief lead needs to hand it to the fire. So if we could get everyone from the fire, we need the no, whole team down Judy. here. I think Judy should. What do you think, Chief? So come on in here, Chief. Chief Lee in here, oh, too, Chief Slavin. Oh, boy. So, uh, Chief, uh, you, you, you tried hard defending your title, but what happened? Where's my team? I think Sergeant here? Brennan was sick today. Isn't that yeah. what happened? I think he might have he might have pulled a quad uh, at one of his wads over uh, at that CrossFit gym. That's right. So, all right. So, Jody, would you like to present the trophy to the winners? Uh, I will present the trophy. Um, don't get too excited Guys, about get in the it. trophy. Guys, get it. Guys, get it. You good. know, but we've also, by the way, someone has very generously from the police department offered to get a big trophy that we can have every year and put the name on it nice. so right yeah. now this is yours i'll let chief uh, <laughs> i'll let you have it and um oh no wait a who won here yeah fire department yes <laughs> oh. here let me tell you we won yeah <laughs> nice work gentlemen way to go so congratulations we had that one year last year we had a little slip but this is year three i believe so very well done here you go look at that pass that around <laughs> Where is Chief Lee? I lost track of him here for a second here. I lost track of Chief Lee for a second. Oh, man. Oh, nice. so, so, Chief, this does feel a little good? This feels real nice. I'm looking forward to writing my annual report again next year to be able to talk about bocce once again. So, That's fantastic. Yes. Yes. Right. So, listen, before the uh, toes, I hear toes going, let's get everyone in for a group picture. Well, there you have it there. Bocce Throwdown 2018 is done. Red team winning. Blue team. Well, they're, they're still here, they're crying, but fake news, it's very possible. Well, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Thanks to the uh, Hopkins Senior Center for sponsoring this event. And uh, thank everyone for coming out. We will see you next year.